Hello and welcome back to the first video for topic five, the internet and its uses, where we're going to look at the activities in the textbook and try and answer them. So as you can see, the first part, we're going to be looking at URLs, uniform resource locators. We're then going to be looking at cookies. Then we're going to be looking at the differences between the World Wide Web and the internet, and then back to cookies. So question one, we've got um, a URL has been entered, as you see here, and we need to identify the domain name, the domain type, the file name, and which protocol has been used. So I'm going to start with the first bit where the pink arrow is pointing and this bit is the protocol. Okay, but it's the protocol and it's got the S on the end. Now HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol but because it's got an S it means it's secure. So it's either got SSL secure socket layer encryption or it's got TLS transport layer protocols. So we can tick that one and then I'm going to talk about the domain name. Now there's two parts to this. First of all, obviously Google is the domain and that's the domain name. But secondly, we've got the subdomain, which in this case is mail because we've got google.com, mail.google.com and it's a Gmail account. The domain type is the .com and that could be dot whatever country you're in or Dakota UK, for example. But then finally, we have something called the path or the file name and that would be part C. Depending, the path could be Gmail but then after that we could have a actual file name itself, a PDF file or something like that or in the case of up here sample page is our file name in this activity. So question two we look at session cookies and persistent cookies. We've got to A give two differences between session cookies and persistent cookies and then B describe three uses of cookies. So we're looking at two differences between the session and the persistent cookie. So let's start with session cookie. So these are temporary, which basically stops, ceases to exist when the browser has been closed or the website session has been terminated. And then we have persistent cookies, which are stored on a person's computer on the hard disk drive. Um, and until the user deletes or it reaches a preset expiry date um, and it remains when the browser is closed also. We then need to describe three uses of cookies. So the first one would be it saves users purchases into a, a virtual shopping basket. Two, it stores customer payment details. Three, it stores customers preferences for browsers such as um, language, color theme, um, the currency they're using and maybe what country they're in. And it also, finally, it tracks internet habits. He uses um, the user's favorites and makes recommendations, sort of advertising and, uh, and pushing products um, towards the user. We then move on to question three. The following table shows five features of the internet and the World Wide Web. We need to tick the appropriate box to indicate which feature refers to the internet and which feature refers to the World Wide Web. Okay, so let's start. Feature. It is possible to send and receive emails. That would be the internet. Make use of um, HTTP protocols. That would be the World Wide Web. Uses URLs to spe uh, specify the location of websites and web pages. Again, World Wide Web. Resources can be accessed by using web browsers. Again, World Wide Web. And finally, makes use of TCP and IP. That would be the internet. And that's it for question three. And finally, question four, why do you think persistent cookies are sometimes referred to as tracking cookies? Give at least two pieces of evidence to support your answer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the first one, but I'm going to break this down into, into, uh, into further detail. So they are used to record data about the user, e.g. the browser activity, online purchases, and preferences, e.g. languages. Um, they store uh, geographic location, basically where you are. Um, and then finally, they store marketing data which allow specific adverts to be directed to, um, to you. Okay, so basically advertising. And that's it. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.